So, last week we talked about Sniper Wolf and how she drove to Jack's film's house, recorded a video of the outside of it, then went on to post that video to all of her followers on her Instagram story. Well, there's been a big update on that. Sniper Wolf's main channel has been put on a temporary monetization suspension. Which is weird, because I think most creators agreed that if this was something they did, they would have gotten a much bigger punishment. So let's dig into this whole mess today. Basically, I don't know why, but YouTube has treated Sniper Wolf way better than other creators for years. Years. I mean, it's not every day that the official YouTube Twitter account tweets out praising a creator, and it's even rarer to see them do it multiple times. With one Twitter search, I was able to find 14 times they've promoted her, with one of them being one where they called her the creator of our dreams, which is weird when you consider that most of her content is just stolen re-uploads of other people's content with the bare minimum effort put into reacting. Unless she's the creator of our dreams because she's able to game the system and put in the smallest amount of work for maximum return. But anyway, my point is that I don't think a lot of YouTubers or fans expected to see any punishment come of this, given how much favor she has with the YouTube team. And yeah, I know that sounds crazy because her showing up to Jack's film's house, filming it, and posting it to all of her Instagram followers is obviously stupid, dangerous, and made Jack's films and his family feel unsafe in his home. It's egregious enough for people to demand action, and people did just that. Now personally, I'm still against the idea of platforms policing people's off-platform behavior. I think that it's a platform stepping in and doing the job of the government, despite being unelected and non-democratic, and I really don't like taking steps towards a technocratic dictatorship or Orwellian future, personally. But I guess a lot of people are foaming at the mouth to get to the cyberpunk-inspired future of their dreams, because not only was there the normal level of call-out to YouTube demanding action, people were furious, and took to pretty much every media they could to criticize YouTube's lack of action. I'm talking constant tweets, community notes, and videos being put out by a lot of different creators from all over the platform. The Twitter community community notes were especially harsh, since there's no way that YouTube can remove them. It probably didn't help things that YouTube tweeted out, would it be too meta to do a reaction video to a reaction video? Which a lot of people took as YouTube mocking Jack's films and what Sniper Wolf did to him. A hallmark of Jack's films recent content has been criticizing Sniper Wolf by doing just that, a meta reaction to her reaction video. Eventually though, the public pressure campaign reached maximum levels, and the story started to get picked up by the media. For some reason, companies like YouTube still can't care more about what the media reports than what's trending on social media, despite most of the old media being essentially useless and read by no one these days. But anyway, this finally called their bluff, and I'm sure some bigwig read an article about it and told the team to handle it, despite the massive amount of unfair favor that YouTube seems to constantly give Sniper Wolf. She just went too far this time. Weirdly, it doesn't seem like YouTube is really taking the potential doxing of one of their big creators very seriously at all, since instead of banning Sniper Wolf, which many people were advocating for, even if I myself disagree, they just temporarily suspended her monetization, and it seems only on her main channel. YouTube responded to Jack's film's tweet where he originally called out Sniper Wolf for doxing him, and said, Confirming Sniper Wolf has received a temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. To be honest, while I still disagree with the idea of taking action for off-platform behavior, I think that if you're going to take action on this kind of thing, it has to be all or nothing. I mean, doxing is a serious danger for creators, so I don't see why they would punish that behavior with a slap on the wrist, considering the magnitude of her bad action. I'm also annoyed that YouTube hit Jax Films with the both sides thing. To be clear, Jax Films has maybe gone a bit far in his criticism of Sniper Wolf, since he's made so many videos satirizing her videos. Satire, by the way, is not either dangerous or against the terms of service, but what Sniper Wolf did literally put Jax Films into danger and fear for his life. I am absolutely certain that if Jax Films had gone to her house and done exactly what she did to him, but to her, YouTube would not have stopped at just demonetizing his channel. They would have banned him off the website. This is clear favoritism, and I don't think anyone can even try to deny it, especially since it seems to be that they didn't go all the way and actually demonetize all of her channels, just the main one. And now people are annoyed because they seem to think that she's re-uploading old videos on the new channel to circumvent the demonetization. I'm not going to go seven levels deep into Sniper Wolf lore to verify that claim, but it has been tossed around by a lot of people with some pretty convincing evidence, in my opinion. Anyway, Sniper Wolf apologized for the incident as well. Unfortunately, whoever is on Sniper Wolf's team is smart enough to advise her to not make an apology video, thus robbing us of what I'm sure would be another terrible YouTuber apology for the record books. But she did put out a tweet, let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions, it is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jack's film, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans 
for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Jack's film, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I am sorry for reacting the way I did, when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately, not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it. Respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. Which, I mean, is a fine apology. Seems like it was written by a lawyer or a PR team, but that's actually the smart thing to do in her current situation. I don't think it fixes anything at all. And if I was Jax Films, I would not respond when she tries to reach out to me directly, because she's already shown who she really is to the masses. So that's how the Sniper Wolf and Jax Films drama is going to end. Unsurprisingly, it's not like anything was done to actually resolve the issue. Jax Films is probably going to have to move, as he and his wife have stated that they don't feel safe at their home anymore, and there was never anything YouTube could do to make that right. Hopefully Jax Films has hired a lawyer and is looking into his options. I've said it once and I'll say it again, the legal route was and is the only real option that Jax Films should have used once she posted his house. YouTube isn't the end-all be-all arbiter of our disagreements. It doesn't enforce laws onto people. The government does that. This kind of weird situation is exactly what courts exist for. It's the only way he'll ever get justice in my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think the punishment was appropriate? Or was it too much, too little? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Have a great day and God bless you.